This is Twit. This episode of i5 for the iPhone is brought to you by Gazelle, the fast and simple way to sell your used gadgets. Find out what your used iPhone, iPad, and other Apple products are worth at gazelle.com. Welcome back to i5 for the iPhone, episode 133, the Apple Watch edition. From this day forward, there will be a tiered payment structure for this show, depending on what band you choose. The prices range from zero to zero. i5 covers the latest iPhone apps, tips, and tricks, and of course, news. I'm Megan Maroney. Thanks for coming back. Who's tired of daylight savings time? I am. The only thing that made it exciting this year was the anticipation of the Apple Watch event and Tim Cook delivered. This week, Apple announced a shipping date for the Apple Watch, April 24th, as well as a pre-order date, April 10th. There's been a lot of speculation about how the battery life in the watch could not possibly be long enough for what we intend to use it for. On stage in San Francisco this week, Tim Cook said the battery would last all day, or more specifically, 18 hours. We already knew the price of the basic sport edition, $349, but the intricate pricing structure for the other versions was also announced. They range anywhere from $549 to $17,000. If you want to get an idea of just how complicated the process of deciding which Apple Watch is right for you, check out the Joy of Tech cartoon by Nitrozac and Snaggy, especially if you're afraid of magnets, cows, or fluoroelastomer. The Apple Watch will work with iPhone 5S and newer. But if there is a person who still has an iPhone 4 but is planning on getting the first iteration of the Apple Watch, I would like to meet you. Number two is an app called Meerkat. You know what a meerkat is, right? Those furry little animals that are part of the mongoose family. Their distinguishing feature is that they pop their heads out of little holes and star in reality television shows. Fun fact, a group of meerkats is called a mob, a gang, or a clan. And over the past few weeks, mobs, gangs, and clans of people with a little too much time on their hands downloaded the new meerkat app that lets you automatically stream video directly to Twitter. Now, this kind of app isn't new, but the meerkat experience is so smooth and easy that it has become wildly popular. Here's how it works. You simply download the app, allow it to connect to your video camera and your Twitter account, and then you click stream. Meerkat then automatically tweets to your followers that you are live and it provides a link. When someone clicks that link, they will see your live stream. They don't even need to be on Twitter to see the stream as long as they have the link. As you're streaming, you can see how many viewers you have and you can see their Twitter profile pictures. When you're done streaming, the video isn't saved. So once you're done live streaming, anyone on Twitter who clicks your link will get this page. You can save the video to your phone if you like. Hence, the first rule of Meerkat, everything that happens on Meerkat stays on Meerkat. I can see how this app can be incredibly useful and also incredibly dangerous. Here's the useful. Let's say you're experiencing a crime or a major event of some kind. If you can't help, you can Meerkat it. Here's the dangerous. Let's say you give your four-year-old your iPhone so he's occupied while you take a shower and then he clicks that cute little icon of the meerkat and brings it to you in the shower to show you what he's done. You have just live streamed your shower time to your Twitter followers. So if you do use this app, think twice before you hand your phone over to your kids or to someone who's mad at you. Meerkat has become crazy popular in the week since it launched. Part of that is how easy it is to use, and part of that is that it automatically notifies your followers when you download it and when you use it. Already, Meerkat has had to scale back on some of the features that were annoying and spammy to people, so that's a good sign. And this week, we also learned that Twitter has purchased an app called Periscope that also lets you stream live video from your Twitter stream. Periscope is still in closed beta testing, but according to sources at the Wall Street Journal, somebody at Twitter must have really been impressed since they reportedly bought Periscope for just under $100 million. Meerkat is free in the App Store. Number three is an app that was recommended to me by i5 viewer Ben Richardson. Ben emailed me last week to say that he was looking forward to finding out if the Apple Watch was going to include a sleep tracker. And if it does, he might get one. And if it doesn't, he will probably still use an app called Sleep Better that helps you track your sleep. 
now that we know that the first rendition of the Apple Watch will have a battery life of 18 hours, that means that you're going to have to charge it overnight. So I took Ben's recommendation and downloaded Sleep Better because I do want to sleep better. Here's the catch. In order for the app to work, you're supposed to plug your phone in and keep it on your pillow. And I'm pretty sure every scientist who's explored this sort of thing would say that if you want to sleep better, the first thing you might do is not keep your iPhone on your pillow. Sleep better seems interesting. There's an alarm that wakes you up when it's the best time to wake up. But what if you need to wake up at a different time? There's also a way to record your dreams. Sleep Better is free, but the full version is $1.99 and it unlocks all the features. It doesn't include ads or frequent reminders to upgrade to the full version. Check it out and let me know what you think or let me know if you have a better sleep tracker to recommend. You can email me at megan at twit.tv. This episode of i5 for the iPhone is brought to you by Gazelle. New from Gazelle, now you can buy certified pre-owned iPhones, Samsung Galaxy phones, and iPads directly from Gazelle. If you've broken or lost your phone, a certified pre-owned device is a great way to buy a low-cost replacement device. Gazelle still offers great deals on trade-ins for your old device. Visit gazelle.com to see what devices are available from Gazelle in certified pre-owned condition. Here are the benefits of buying certified pre-owned from Gazelle. Devices are available in two conditions, certified like new and certified good. Certified good devices show some gentle signs of wear, but offer consumers who want to save a little extra money a great device at a great price. All devices have been put through a rigorous 30-point inspection to ensure they're fully functional. Certified pre-owned devices are backed by a 30-day risk-free return policy. Here are the benefits of trading into Gazelle. You get paid in cash. Payment is fast within a few days of your item being received. It's risk-free. Gazelle will also wipe your data for free. It's trustworthy. Gazelle has paid nearly $175 million to over 1 million customers. And it's easy. You get free shipping, and most items qualify for a free box. There's a fast process, no listing hassles. What's your iPhone worth? Take a minute and go to gazelle.com to find out. Number four, this week Apple not only announced details about the Apple Watch, they also revealed a new HBO streaming service called HBO Now. It will be $14.99 a month and it's going to launch right in time for the premiere of the newest seasons of Game of Thrones and Silicon Valley. And if you're interested in donating your body to science while you're still alive and carrying your iPhone around, Apple announced Research Kit. It's a new way for doctors and scientists to use the data that iPhones are already collecting about us to study diseases like asthma, breast cancer, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and Parkinson's disease. This week's announcement also included the release of iOS 8.2, and you can update your iPhone right now. The newest operating system includes support for the Apple Watch, and as soon as you update it, you'll see this fancy icon on your desktop. Right now, opening the app does not make an Apple Watch magically appear as I'd hoped. In fact, all you can do is look at images that are designed to make you want to buy an Apple Watch. And don't try to get rid of the app because you cannot. The update also includes a dozen or so bug updates. Number five is Dart. One of my favorite apps that they showed off at this week's presentation was a new email app called Dart. Now, my New Year's resolution for 2015 is to rein in my email. I still haven't found the perfect app or the perfect system, but not for lack of trying. Dart is a little like Hop, an email program masquerading as an instant messaging program that I showed a few episodes ago. Dart is similar, but it takes it one step further. It's designed for sending simple messages, and it even allows you to provide multiple choice answers so the recipient can respond quickly. People will enjoy getting emails like this from you because you are simplifying their lives just as you're simplifying your own. When I used Dart to ask my friend Kate if she wanted to go hiking this week, her answer was yes, and not just because the email was utterly delightful. It made me want to print it out, check yes, fold it up into a small square, and slide it into your locker on my way to gym. Dart Mobile is free, and the app for the desktop is $1.99. Are you using this app? Are you? Email feedback to i5 at twit.tv. That does it for this episode. Thanks for stopping by. All of the app's links and other info on the show can be found at twit.tv slash i5. And if you have questions, you can email them to me at megan at twit.tv or to i5 at twit.tv. Or leave us a voicemail at 614 on i5. I'm Megan Maroney. We'll see you next week on i5 for the iPhone. Bandwidth for i5 for the iPhone is provided by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. <laughs>